Hi everyone, Ainsley here from Small Fry Creations. Recently I got asked by a friend to make an entry table for their house. This is a design we came up with and today I'm going to show you how you make it. Let's do it. The first step was to cut the bottom of the table as it has no angles and this was cut to 800mm. It was then time to cut the sides. For this, I needed to tilt the miter saw to 15 degrees. I then cut the sides. The sides were 531 mil each with a 15 degree angle on each end. The angles run parallel to each other. It was then time to glue and tape the sides into place. To help with the glue up, I cut blocks with a 15 degree angle on them. This will help to ensure that the sides are aligned with the bottom. Once the sides are glued, you can then measure and cut for the top. When working with angles, I like to cut and fit as I go. I found sometimes in the past that the measurements on my SketchUp model and in the shop are a little bit different. The top has no angles and the top of mine was measured to about 525mm. With the table drying, it was now time to move on to the leg assembly. For this, I cut two long pieces at 700mm and two at 125mm. I put pocket holes on the short side and glued and screwed the frame together. I then cut four legs at 158mm. I wanted to put a taper on the legs, so to do this I simply drew a line from the middle of the leg to the outer edge. I then set the cut up on the miter saw. Now this is not the safest way to make this cut and if you have a table saw and a tapering jig I would suggest you use it. You will notice as I cut the taper, I only use the miter saw in an up and down motion instead of sliding the saw along, and I use a scrap piece of wood to hold the piece down and tight. I repeated this process four times. I then glued the legs into place and came back later to reinforce them with a screw from the top. While the legs were drying, I could work on the shelves. I measured equal distance on the table and then cut the shelves. Again, these shelves has a 15 degree angle on them at each end. With these sorts of cuts, I like to rough cut and then sneak up on the right fit, along the way making sure that the shelf is level. I could then cut the backer pieces. This would add strength to the table and support for the shelves. With everything now cut to size, I could start sanding everything. I was worried about the support of the shelves and I didn't want to use dowels from the outside of the table so I made some brackets to go under each shelf. This will help bring everything together as well as provide strength. I glued the brackets together and I used a force and a bit to countersink the screws. I then drilled holes in the base which I would use to secure the legs to the table. I used a force and a bit again to countersink the screws. I then measured to ensure the base was centered to the table and secured the legs to the table with 40mm screws. 
I then flipped the table upside down so that I could glue in the shelves, backer pieces and the brackets. I worked my way from the smaller shelf up to the larger one. I can now begin to sand everything up to 220 grit. To finish the table, I taped up and painted the shelves white and applied a clear coat to the whole table. Well, there you have it. Entry table is complete and ready for delivery. I just want to take a second to say a massive thank you to all my subscribers out there. As I film this, we've just ticked over two and a half thousand, so massive thank you to you guys. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I make videos like these, I put them out weekly for you guys to be inspired or to follow along and make with me. So if you like these videos, make sure you hit those subscribe and like buttons down below so you don't miss out on my next one. I'll see you next week.